Okay, guys. Um, how are you doing today? Uh, how is the sound? I think it's fine, right? I come all the crypto here uh, with another Bitcoin update. So, oh, Korean. <laughs> Hi there. Who's <laughs> this? Uh, nice. Nice to have you back here, huh? So, if you haven't joined my my Twitter, you have it. <coughs> A lot of uh, ideas, charts, and everything here. Okay. <laughs> so um, let's talk about Bitcoin, huh? First of all, let me show you guys the weekly chart. This is nice, isn't it? We have uh, the MACD here crossing. It's not. It has not crossed yet. It's gonna take a while. Huh? Um, this is the pattern that I have. Okay, A B C D E. You see, this line has been crossed. We are now sitting above it, above the 55 EMA, and we have we have crossed the 21 EMA. It, it, this candle has not uh, has not closed yet, but I think we we have an idea. This is a weekly chart, so. It's, uh, it's good good news for the bulls. Huh? Um, this is the same count that I have for the Bitcoin daily update. Okay, this is the this is my count for the daily. Okay, the one two we have finished the the cycle here. One two three four five. Okay, this is Bitfinex. We don't have a lot of data. I'm sorry, we don't have as much data as in the BLX. But it's Bitfinex, right? So we have this one, two, three, four, five. The symmetry here has has revealed uh, a really nice 26218 uh, pattern here. It's it's always 26218. I have discussed with one of my friends in the in the in the Discord about it, and it's a nice confluence here. Yeah, we have this. 2618 always happening at the third or at the fifth it might be something or it might be just here we have an again 268 at the third it might be something or it might be a coincidence but if it if it's if it, if it have if it have happened a lot in more than one occasion it's something right and we finished here this is um this is a intermediate okay we are putting our Second wave of the intermediate, and again we have broken out of this A B C D E pattern, which is really important for me. Okay, for the Elliott wave principle, we are we are above it. Okay, we have broken it. One day we have broke with a, with a huge candle. We had this uh, this this spin. Uh, this is a bearish. I'm not. <laughs> I don't know how to name this. This is a. A bearish candle but now we have a hammer but we have a lot of time to to go up we are correcting right but what is important is that we are out of this pattern we are out of the a b c d e okay and what is the the forecast the forecast is that oh sorry i clicked the wrong but uh i mean out here what we have is that we are going to start this wave three if we are going to if we are indeed going to um start this wave three it's gonna be a huge wave three okay huge huge wave three and just to to give you guys an idea we have been correcting for uh, i'm gonna put this here yes because this is not the correction this is the correction right until 200 213 days this was the correction okay and 836 days of impulse Okay, one year and something. I don't I want to do the math. So now we would start another another bullish another cycle, right? The third wave. It's gonna be. It's it's the most likely to be extended. This is log chart. We don't have an, uh, a clear idea of the the the, the size of the, the the wave, but it's gonna be a huge difference in price. Okay, here you have 20k. We will need to challenge this price and go higher. So. Here, it's a uh, minus 100%. This is the projection that I have from this this low here. Okay, 
This is the low, a lot of weeks, a lot of weeks, so it doesn't matter. I am putting here at the top, at, at the bottom of it, and I am uh, using my retracement and stretching it all the way up here to 20k. Here we have our point of that we have been around for for most of the, the of the correction that is the 65, 618. What that means is that we have hit the golden pocket, right? We have hit the 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 sweet sweet spot for the wave two, and we haven't really went that far. We we have stayed here, which is a bullish sign in my opinion, right? In, in Elliott Wave's principle, this is a really good spot for a wave two, and now we are going up. We we have break this. We, we uh, moreover we have. We have broken out of the 61865. We are out now. Um, we, we need to test the 50%, 3820, 3360%, and then finally put a new high. Okay, a new out time high. Okay, this is all. This is our 20k here. Then we would need to challenge this this algo targets here. Minus 2360%, 618, and 100. Okay, so perhaps 40. 40k okay and this is the fifth way this is a forecast okay we have way we need way more data in order to really have something to tell we have we need more data okay but this is my daily chart okay um you have this one in my in my twitter as well if you wanna take a look there okay let's see the this is the weekly chart, and it's the same. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me show you guys the EMA, right? The EMA is also important. Uh, here we have the EMA. Let me put the vol volume profile. Oh, the volume profile is so strange. The daily here, I don't know. So, oh damn it! It's so ugly. Let me change it a bit. Oh, Jesus Christ! There we have it. Okay, so let's zoom in a bit. <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah, it's oh my. Let me change the color as well because it's my it's my thing. Let me. I'm gonna. Uh, this is and this twenty one fifty five and one hundred. Well, yeah, the one hundred we have crossed. I, I, as I said, we have crossed the fifty five and the twenty one. We have crossed. I said that yesterday. The 100 we are sitting above it and this is not my EMA damn it <laughs> Let me use my one. It's not so different. It's just EMA Akumado. It's just a bit different because it has the 200 EMA yeah. Not not that different <laughs> and I should I should put the colors that I like already here. I need to change this thing. Come on Okay Not see this is yellow and this is Okay, sorry. Uh, so we are above the 200 EMA. So we have this 255 uh, and 21 crossed. Okay, and uh, this is bullish, guys. We are sitting above the 200 EMA. What what we are expecting to really confirm uh, to really confirm that this is a, a trend reversal is that the 200 EMA, this one right here, goes below the go, crosses all the the other. Uh, actually, the other three crosses the 200 EMA. We need something like this: the 200 EMA sitting below the 21, 55, and 100 EMA. Okay, and then we will have a, a really confidence. Uh, we, we would would have more signs of a bullish trend reversal. Okay. Uh, for now, we we are good. Huh? We have we are sitting above the 200 EMA. We have broken this this pattern here, so it's difficult to, to give you guys a, a bearish a bearish view of this. I'm gonna try to give you guys a bearish view because it's important to to keep your mind open and present different scenarios. Okay, but so far what I think is gonna happen is that this twenty one here is gonna cross the one hundred. Okay, this is daily. And what is gonna happen? I think what I'm suggesting is that it is gonna do this: cross the the, the 100, of course, and then we will have the the 55 doing this, 
and then it's gonna cross the 200 and then cross the the 100 as well and then you're gonna have this the 21 55 100 EMA and 200 EMA if we start a, 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 um, a bullish a bullish run right a, a bullish mom I don't like to call bullish run but if we are to start a bullish trend okay and then we we have all the the all that's necessary for now we have everything is here the pattern is correct it's it's done and we have this bullish momentum here yeah we are going up and we are out of it so it's difficult of course the volume is not the best the volume has <clears throat> the volume has not been like this right uh, we don't have a huge volume to really give you give us confidence but remember the first wave of a Elliott wave impulse wave of a motive impulse wave the first wave we don't have a lot of volume okay if we look at the at the book here we have the book if you go and, and look at the personality this is important guys to use the book and to remember that uh, to be humble right to remember that we need to learn all the time okay here we have wave personality look, look at the first wave as our office to made about how the, half of the first waves are part of the basing process and does tend to be heavily corrected by wave two okay <laughs> that's not what I would like to say but <laughs> what I <laughs> what I want to say is that when we start the first wave we don't have a lot of confidence we don't have a lot of uh, volume okay you it's you are getting out of the f of, of the bear market you're getting out of the, the of the bearish trend of the, the the bear trend so you don't have a lot of confidence when you get out of this then you have wave two to, it's like okay this is not gonna happen I, i'm gonna sell here this is the the the, the psychology of uh, of elliot waves okay uh, and then you have the wave three wave three is the that's why it's the extended wave the most likely to be extended because you you have all the the investors saying okay now it's time to buy here you have the first wave that we have the retracement we are all looking for this and then we go up we if this is wave two as i have present you guys as i have said to you guys that this is the wave two okay this is where we want to buy right here because it's we have this wave one and now we are testing of low we are testing new lows here yeah we are we are correcting we and we have this low here and now we are starting to this is the beginning of the wave three the the, the wave one of one of a wave three okay this is it's important to understand the psychology behind Elliott waves that we are all humans behind it right uh not Oh, we have algos as well, but you understand. <laughs> so this is my this is this is my one hour chart, and I know some of you guys are going to to disagree with me the, the way I count it, especially because we have uh, great analysts that that presented a count that is different than this one. Okay, I know, and I accept it this is the way that i counted it's not totally different i just I, i'm just using a truncated fifth the reason that i'm using a truncated fifth is because we have this abc that is so similar to this fourth wave here and this one here I, I know i said that i said this exact same thing yesterday but i need to tell you guys again unless i really unless i really uh, have this truncated fifth out of the table out of the picture it's it, there is one way of this to get uh, to get uh, invalidated yet it has not yet invalidated and actually I think that this is what is happening because of the price action because of this is a four uh, it's a fourth of the three and we have a fifth wave going up we have yet to put a wave one the way I see it we don't have a wave two yet this is not a, a wave two, in my opinion. This is not a wave two. This is a fifth wave. We have yet to finish the first wave, the first, the, this is the motive impulse wave, and then we have a wave two. Why? 
again, the psychology of we we Elliott wave, okay, the psychology of Elliott wave, we, we don't have the, co uh, imagine this, guys, when we were here, we don't, if you, if you, if you think that this is the first wave, we might have here a double bottom, okay, if you put here our first, our fifth wave, okay, this is the first wave and then the second wave, we don't have the confidence of a of a really clear five waves up here to tell us okay it's a it's a trend reversal. We don't have this confidence. What I think happened it was a fourth wave and then this fifth wave failed. Why we have a truncated fifth wave? Because they tried the bears tried to push it down, but they failed. I'm sorry. <clears throat> They failed. What is a truncated fifth? Is when the fifth wave fails to go lower, fails to put, uh, to, fails to go lower than this region here, than the third wave. The fifth wave failed. When it fails, it shows us that we, that the bears lost their their momentum. That's why I'm favoring this count. Because I, I believe that the bears lost their momentum when they failed this fifth wave and they are going up. I might be totally wrong, guys. And I would be really happy if I am totally wrong. I would I, I expect to be wrong because that's what, what we are. We are dealing with options. We are dealing with uh, different counts and we need to be open to different counts. And, and if you are actually saying, oh, my count is perfect, you are wrong. Or your count... Your count or whatever, your TA is perfect. You are wrong. C certainly, you might be you might be doing well, but when you get wrecked, you're gonna get wrecked for good. So be humble. You know, I I know I might be wrong, totally wrong, but this is what I'm presenting. This is the truncated fifth. I have a reason behind it. Uh, I have a um, <clears throat> a reason that is within the the Elliott wave principle. It's not wrong. It's uh, psychology it's uh, psychologically and within the the Elliott wave principle so uh, that's why I'm presenting it okay um, so let's zoom in uh, wh what is forming here it's pretty clear right guys it's forming a, a flat okay it's beautiful because if you have the count as I have here okay we have finished this one then we have this three four this is my one. Then we have an A, B, and X. This is a flat, okay? A B going higher than the beginning of a A, and then a C. Then we have this wave two. Then we have this formation of a wave three. Really clear wave three here, right? One, two, three, four, five. We have a one, two, three, four, five, three. Wave three. Now we are putting in the wave four. What might happen here is a flat, uh, a triangle flat, okay, a, B, C, D, E. This is a possibility, okay, we don't have enough data now. Or we might have a flat, uh, a sharp correction, A, B, and then we go down C, and then we finish our final wave uh, 5 to put the first wave, the first uh, motive impulse wave 1 here, that is uh, of the degree of, uh, oh damn, let me see the degree here. The degree of a minute, okay? This would be our first wave. Okay, and then we would test the 10K. That That's my test, perhaps. We would not, we would fail to get to 10K, 9400, perhaps. Okay, this is a resistance, higher degree. We need to, of course, we have pierced the 618, 65 resistance, and we have now we traced, we are now retracing it, okay, now we need full, we need strength to get out of this 618.65 to challenge the 7.86, okay, this is 9k, okay, and we are forming a bullish flag, yes, if you want, this is the, the, the pole here and this, those lines here, let, let me zoom in a bit more, <clears throat> all right, and we might have a flat correction A B C D. Those are the the, the the these these are my my ladder buys. Okay, what I am looking for. Oh, if I don't get this, I, I have this other one here as well. 
Okay, we need to be reactive to the market. If you see this thing going down, you need to pay attention to the formation of the wave. If you have a one, two, three, four, five, a clear one, two, three, four, five, you you need to understand that this is not in place. Okay, what's the difference, guys, between uh, A, B, C, D, E here and a one, two, three, four, five? It's clear. If you see that the waves that is for me, uh, if you see that this is the pattern, one, two, and then you have extended three, four, five. If you see something like this, you don't have a uh, a flag you don't I'm sorry you don't have a triangle you have a a, a, sh, uh, a sharp correction for this four okay simple you, you just need to look one two three four five okay it's not a flat it's gonna be a sharp correction and then you start buying it okay uh, I think that the 8k uh, one thing that we need to remember is that 8k is a psychological level for us Okay, it's really a strong psychological. Uh, now that we have broken out of it, out of 8K, 8K is a strong resistance. Let, let, let me mark it because it's not just about levels and about everything. This 8K here is going to be a strong resistance. Okay, strong, of course, strong resistance. So that's why I think that we might have the pattern like it's a one, two, three. Okay, like touching the the 8k and uh, going up is okay let me draw again if it, this is a strong this is a big if okay we might just touch the 8k here and react and go up okay this would be a, a C but a, a B C when we have a, a pattern that's a triangle guys let me show here in the let me use the book because the book is always the best uh, it has the best uh, examples, okay? And I'm sorry that I need to to do this, to look for it. Okay, there it is. What is the difference? When we have a C, uh, it's going down. We have a C like this. The C here is a A, B, C. You see, it's a three, a, a three, it's a pattern of three waves going down. Then we have a three waves going up, three waves going down again. What's the difference? Okay, again, I need to stress this point because if we have five waves going down here, it's not a triangle. Okay, we need to have three waves going down. That's why I'm favoring this pattern. That I think that we might have a, a, a triangle because if we, sorry, if we have a three wave here, like a slow three wave, like doing this and testing the 8K here. Oh, we start thinking about it. Okay, we say um, three waves, you see, not a strong one, two, three, four, five, but three. So then, and only then we can say, oh, I have confidence that this is a D. And then we are going to have, a, I'm sorry, this is a C. Then we are going to have a, a, a wave D, the same thing. One, two, three. Okay, and then we are going to have a, perhaps a, a, a breakout of E. Uh, a break out of D. It's normal. It's it, it's possible to break out of D. So what would happen is that we would have an A B C D E. Like let me show you guys A B C D E. E would need to break. Okay. E. If we have an E, we don't need to break this 8K psychological and important resistance. Okay. Which I think we are not going to break this 8K. But I, I, okay, I, I I have given this this uh, points here, this this buy uh, buy indications here, this line here to, as a, a point to ladder your buys. But it's really difficult to imagine that the fourth wave is going as deep as 50% this moment, just because of this 8K. I really I favor a lot the psychological reason behind trading okay so this 8k is really important so we might touch it or not even touch it but touch like really uh, shallow or trying to touch it and then we react it and break out of d okay or it might have a one two three four five really c here and we break out of this 38 20 percent okay that's uh that's a possibility now
Uh, let's let's see one thing though. Yeah, let's see our this, this is our third wave. Let's see our second wave because yes. So see guys, one important one important data that we have really important. Pay attention now. Bear with me. What is important data that we have about the second wave here of this the same degree? Okay, same degree. This white wave here. This is minus. Okay, minuet, sorry. This is minuet. We have an important data. What is the important data? We have a flat correction here for our wave two. Flat, okay? Not a sharp correction, but we have a flat, see? And then this is our... We have a flat correction, okay? A, B, C, we have this. Let me show you. Oh, sorry, guys. Let me, let me get the book here. Okay, expand. This is uh, a flat. This is a bear. Okay, we have this. Okay, not exactly this, but yes, we have exactly this. Okay, expand it flat in a bull market. We have this. If we have an expanded here, what is the 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 guideline for for Elliott waves when we have an expanded uh, wave two? Is that the wave four is gonna be sharp? It's a, the alternate uh, the alternation rule, okay? This is the alternation rule. Let me show you guys. The alternation rules is, rule is that when we have, again, <laughs> there, here I go, look for it again. Oh, here we have it, okay? When we have a sharp wave in our wave two, we have a, a wave that's wave four that's sideways, and in the opposite, when we have a wave that is sideways or flat. Wave two, we have a sharp correction for our wave four. This is what happened. That this is what, yes, it's in, that's interesting, right? Because this is giving us um, a clue of what, what might happen if we had in, for our wave two a flat, uh, an expanded flat. No, so now we might have a sharp correction. Get to the. I'm sorry. Let me. Let me wipe it out and we might have a one two three four five here and finish touch the 8k and go up simple okay i'm oh, sorry what do you guys think so we might not have this a b c d here that i'm proposing but just because of the alternation yeah because of this the uh the alternation within an impulse right this is the alternation uh guideline so we had a, a, sh a flat, we have an expanded flat, so now we have a, shar a sharp correction. And it seems like a sharp correction, right? Maybe A, it's in. B, a clear B, guys. A, B, C, B. And now uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to finish our C. Touch the 8K, okay? For wave, touch the 8K and react. Okay. What do you think, guys? What do you think about it? Do you have a different count, uh, different ideas? Tell me. I'm gonna open the discussion because this is what we have here, right? Discussion, ideas. Let's let let's see what you guys have. Or if you agree with me, it's, it's okay. <laughs> or if you don't, oh damn it! I should have hope. Um, <laughs> um, forgot to <laughs> the jar yes sorry <laughs> now I so guys uh, what do you think do you have any ideas do you want me to take a look at a different chart um, this is my count for Bitcoin I mean, it's pretty clear I think yeah? <laughs> toxic Korean what do you, <laughs> what do you think <laughs> tell me I'm waiting. I'm gonna give you guys uh, some time because I have also a EOS. I have time here to analyze uh, other charts. I have a EOS idea here that is nice. If you guys want to see the EOS, it's here. EOS is clear. Oh my god, EOS is clear as 
as it can be clear. <laughs> okay. This is my EOS chart. If you follow me on Twitter, you can see here. I have proposed the this setup here. This is my EOS. Okay, we are now going down to perhaps touch the, those levels here. Eight bucks, nineteen. Okay, or lower eight bucks. I don't think we're gonna break the eight bucks level. I don't think. Okay, this is gonna be our C here and our two. I, I love to play EOS. I like the the coin. I like the idea, and I think it's a it's a it's easy to play if you if you have a, a Bit Phoenix account. It's a it's a it has a lot of volume. So what else do we need, right? Really simple. It's, it's playing by the book, guys. You see how beautiful it is. How how different it is. Let, let, let us compare. Okay, this is the EOS and this is the Bitcoin chart. Uh, why I present a different count? Compare this. This is the count. This is my Bitcoin count. This is the Bitcoin chart and this is the EOS. See how different it is. See, you have the fourth wave here and the fifth wave here finishing. It's clear. You see, it's clear. We ha they don't have a truncation here. It's clear. The fourth wave and the fifth wave. It's beautiful. And then we have this clear impulse wave one, two, three, four, five here finishing. It's clear, crystal clear. And then we have these two, A, B, and we, of course, we are now uh, finishing this. Uh, we have finished this A, B, C, okay, two here. Let me change the color because it's confusing a bit. This, we have this A, B, C to finish this two. We finished, we have crossed this blue line here just to, it's a throw off, right? in Elliott Wave we call it a throw off. When it just to, uh, uh, get out of the the out of the the trend line just to get more strength, okay? That, that what we have. Then we have the first wave of the third wave of this degree here, and then I have this pitchfork here. This is how I use pitchfork. When you have a clear one two here, a clear one two, an impulse wave that this one two three four five here. If we if you look at it. Let's look at it, okay? This is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oops, see? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You, you see how interesting it is? How how, mo how how it looks? The personality of the wave is a motive impulse wave. Yes, you see like, oh, yes, this is a motive impulse wave. When you look at the Bitcoin, you don't have this. You don't have this here. It's different. That's why I'm saying that this is a truncated fifth. But we have this this kind of personality here in this first wave here we have this and this is our two it's different it's uh, it's important to compare different uh different charts to see if we our patterns are if you are consistent right and and for me it's really easy to play eos now right it's just wait for this retracement here right we are retracing now we are gonna get to perhaps this is a wave two. Uh, this is our wave two within wave three of uh, of this degree here. Okay, we might get to hmm, ten bucks, right? We need to break this resistance here, guys. Eleven bucks. Okay, so we have this cluster here offering resistance. So this is a huge box here that we have uh, a lot of uh, resistance. I'm gonna uh, let me change this color. Here. Okay, we have this box here that is gonna offer a lot of resistance. It's easy to, to understand this, right? Is it exactly that the one one hundred percent of the I don't remember this projection here, but oh yes, is is the projecting one through two. We have uh, the one hundred percent here. We have the one hundred twenty seven, and this is the spot for our wave three. The, the best spot for our wave three, we have it here. It's a bit higher, but I don't think we are gonna get that high now because we have this resistance here. So I'm gonna put it here. I think we are gonna hit this resistance here and we trace for our wave four. Okay. 
guys um, I think that's it I'm gonna wrap up here I, I am open again for questions if you guys wanna ask me about anything about uh, alert waves about Bitcoin I think I have presented my account I have presented my ideas for Bitcoin and for for Elliot way uh, for I'm sorry for EOS it's up to you I'm gonna post this I'm gonna upload this this uh, stream to the YouTube so if you follow me on YouTube you can you can always see it and uh, ask me questions there okay and uh, you can follow me on uh, on Twitter you can follow me on uh, YouTube and everything and uh, this is <laughs> on Twitter you, you you can follow me and have a lot of ideas because I'm always I'm always um, presenting different counts different uh, this is my YouTube by the way okay I'm feeling so lonely today because you guys are so quiet I, I know why it's because it's because Bitcoin is going up you guys are so excited it's not even easy it's not even fair to talk about it <laughs> so guys <laughs> thanks for watching me okay to bear with me and I will be really happy to see you guys there giving me your support uh, on YouTube and as always enjoy your trades and questions guys questions always I, I love to answer questions and that's it. Bye. Cheers. Love you all. <laughs>